week with reporters who are on the scene, both in Tampa and both in Kansas City. Let's please bring in and welcome Sarah Walsh. She's uh, taking care of the Florida sunny side of things. Nice, cool 65 degree morning for her. But we kick it off with Omar Ruiz this morning. Omar, what is the schedule for the Chiefs there in frigid Kansas City leading up to Super Bowl 55? Good morning, Kay. Of course, this season has been anything but usual, but for the Chiefs, for the most part, they're trying to keep this as normal of a routine of a schedule as possible this week. They'll have their media obligations tonight, part of the opening night festivities. Tomorrow will be a player's day off, like it typically would on a Tuesday, and then a normal practice week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before heading down to Tampa on Saturday. Andy Reid spent some time last week praising the medical folks here in Kansas City, all the members of the organization and in the NFL to getting us to this point, providing some hope for people that we can get eventually on the other side of this pandemic and perhaps provide some relief for people that have suffered during the coronavirus pandemic. Of course, trying to set this all up with the culmination of the week and bring joy to Chiefs Kingdom here by bringing back that Lombardi trophy once again. For more now on the Buccaneers side of things, let's send it down to Sarah Walsh. Well, Omar, Super Bowl week is upon us finally here in Tampa. And while the Buccaneers can cross traveling off their to-do list, they will be plenty busy starting today with media obligations. Around 11 Eastern, all the position coaches and the defensive and offensive coordinators are going to speak. And then at 12 Eastern, we're going to hear from a bevy of Buck stars, including Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. The Bucs will not practice today. The facility will be open. Some of the guys will work out, but they will be back on the practice field once again tomorrow. Tom Brady said this is all about finishing the job. He said you want to be the team that can win the last game of the year and certainly the Buccaneers have an opportunity to do that with history on the line if they can win here at home. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarah, and to Omar, respectively. We, of course, have Super Bowl opening night tonight to look forward to with guys like Rob Gronkowski and Travis Kelsey. I can't wait to see Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady together uh, on the same Zoom call, virtually talking to reporters worldwide. Thank you both so much. We'll talk to you throughout the morning and throughout the week here. Let's get the guys involved. Shregs, going right to you. I know you're excited for this yeah. one. What's at stake for Patrick Mahomes in Super Bowl 55? It's going to be a week of Brady, Brady, Brady. I think Mahomes has checked every single box in his career at this point. He's been the Super Bowl MVP. He's got the Lombardi. He's got a regular season MVP. He's got all the records. But if you look at the Brady matchups, it's still 2-2. Two to two. And Brady has the only playoff victory when they face each other. So to me, this is a Brady versus Mahomes deal. Look at that new logo. We got the Bolt 24 and we got a Lombardi trophy. Yeah in the Good Morning Football graphic. Brady got the first two, Mahomes is the last two. This is the rubber match. We're playing a best of five. This is game five and it's in Brady's building. We gotta go and win in his building. To me, this is Mahomes at the golf course with Brady 30 years from now and saying, yeah, I beat Breeze, I beat Rodgers, but I couldn't beat you in the Super Bowl. You, ah, Mahomes, you mm. always had my number in the end. This is the last checkbox. I really do feel like it. He could do a million things in his career, but I'd almost think that Mahomes wanted to see Brady in the Super Bowl. He'll have his chance with Rodgers, or maybe he won't. Rodgers is not Tom Brady. For him to get a chance to settle the score and end up three and two against Brady all time and have the last laugh and win the last three and get the Super Bowl win over the greatest of all time, I think it is truly the last thing he needs to do on his resume to say, I have arrived, I am here, and I'm not going anywhere. It, it's gonna be Brady week, just, I'm telling everyone, buckle up, it is Brady week. But let's just say Mahomes has something to say in this thing too. Okay, all right, Shregs, and I feel that. And shout out to Bolt 24. I don't know if you guys saw that commercial with Dame Lillard. Bolt 24. I Dame Lillard, Dame yeah. Dame Lillard mm -hmm. made a great shot the other night. Great shot. Um, he's a young legend. Yeah, Speaking of young legends, that gets me to my point. All right, so what's on the line for Patrick Mahomes? It's becoming mm -hmm. a legend. But in order to be a legend, you're going to have to kill some along the way. Now, now before I get to what I want to show you, just think about what he has done, right? In the playoffs, more specifically. He's beat Andrew Luck, Deshaun Watson, Ryan Tannehill, Jimmy G, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen. The only time he's lost was to the New England Patriots, like Strags is saying. 
He lost to Tom Brady. So in order to be a legend, you got to take out a legend. And that reminds me of one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. That's Randy Orton. Okay. The legend. Kill. Talk about it. Oh, yeah. Now, listen. <laughs> okay, Randy, I see you. Listen, when Randy came in, he said, man, listen, forget all the games. Forget about going against my peers and my tier. I'm taking out the legend. He went at Roddy Piper. Ric Flair. Woo! The Undertaker. Sergeant Slaughter. Mick Foley. And, of course, we all remember Hulk Hogan. And it's fitting because Hulk Hogan, the OG, respected, he moved down to Florida too to finish off his career, and so did Tom Brady. So just like Randy Orton, Patrick Mahomes, listen, you're already going to be the next great quarterback in the league. We already respect you as one of the new passers that's going to change the game. But in order for you to be a legend, you got to be a legend killer. And on the list of your playoff victories, there's only one dude that we respect the mm. most, and that's Tom Brady. Mm. Nate just gave the opening segment an RKO. I love it. And shout out to Edge for winning Rumble last night. Here's what's at stake for Patrick Mahomes. World domination. That's it. Pure world domination. I remember 51 weeks ago, the day after the Super Bowl, Peter was working the Super Bowl press conference and Nate and Kay and I were sitting out on a balcony in Miami overlooking the beach and Mahomes had just won his first Super Bowl. And we were saying, you know, as excited as we are, it's tough to get back. It's really tough to go on yeah. year after year. Ask Rogers. Ask Marino. It's not tough. He's back. He's back like it was nothing. And frankly, I don't think the Chiefs played their best football for a lot of this year. I don't. I think they can play much better than they have. And yet, the guy is back like it was no... stake he's gonna look me like yeah we won that year we won during the COVID year we won when we had both our tackles out and we had another one of our best linemen opt out oh also we won on the other team's home field have you ever done that no you can't this Lombardi trophy from Holmes would be the mm. ultimate prestige piece because here's how these things work if you look at Brady's trophy case make no mistake these things are ranked his Lombardi that he got for beating Kurt Warner in the greatest show on turf, for beating Rust in the LOB for the 28-3 comeback, I guarantee they're on a higher shelf than the ones that he got for, I don't know, beating Jake Delhomme or Jared Goff. All right, this is one of the good ones for Mahomes. Last year, he won his first wow. Super Bowl, that's fine. History will show that it was against Jimmy Garoppolo. No disrespect. But the one he would get for beating Tom Brady, who's playing in his tent, and for beating Tom Brady on his home field during the pandemic season, that's the one. It's probably the most impressive <laughs> Super Bowl trophy ever, and Mahomes is going to get it in the first five minutes of his career. World domination at stake. And the one that he won back to back and the last quarterback to do that was, of course, Tom Brady, the guy he's facing. Kyle, you just got me so excited. And I heard Tom, uh, Tony Romo talk about how he needs this one. He needs this win to Peter's point about chasing the legacy of Tom Brady. How incredible is it? What a testament to uh, the greatness of this young quarterback that we're talking about this and having this conversation, comparing him to Tom Brady out the gate when he's in his third year of a start. He doesn't even have 50 starts under his belt. And we are here at the virtual breakfast table having this conversation. So it just speaks to how remarkable Patrick Mahomes' achievements have been early in his career. Well, what are your thoughts? We want you guys to be part of the show, part of the party at, at GMFB on Twitter. We've got Super Bowl opening night to look forward to. We've got T.O. is on the show, Kyle. Yeah, T.O. I love me some meat. Believe it. <laughs> love it. He is on DeAndre Swift joining the program. It is a party, and all of us are excited for the Super Bowl halftime party as well. Oh.
uh, international phenom and Grammy Award-winning artist The Weeknd.